serious challenges that chimpanzees normally face is uh, flu-related uh, infections. Then as they get old, cardiacicular failures, they normally get problem with the heart. That is when they get old. So when the leaves get into the digestive system, they get entangled with the parasites. So as they defecate, so the parasites come along with the leaves. So that's the essence. So it is true that chimpanzees and the rest of the animals do always do self-medication. Chimpanzees use um, leaves and different types of resources uh, on their wounds to help promote you know, wound healing. But a lot of the early research was on ingestion-based behavior. So plants and resources that chimpanzees consumed, um, which had medicinal properties, either chemical properties or mechanical properties, which helped rid the chimpanzees of parasites. Sometimes you'll see chimpanzees sneezing and coughing. They'll have a runny nose. Other times it's more difficult to tell. So other times chimpanzees might be suffering from a bacterial infection or some sort of internal ailment that is not necessarily obvious. And so we collected samples in the field, um, urine and fecal samples, and we looked at um, whether or not they were exhibiting sort of abnormal signs, if they had high parasite loads. And on cases when we had gathered that information and we saw that individuals did have, um, you know, signs of ill health or lowered immune systems, then we paid particular attention to what those chimpanzees were eating. Many of these suspect resources that we saw the chimpanzees eating in unusual situations or when they were sick or injured had quite strong bioactive properties. So they, they have in fact um, medicinal properties. And a number of these species were also um, found to be used ethnomedicinally in uh, traditional human medicinal cultures as well.